Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Speicherstadt and Konterhaus district in Hamburg, Germany. So this is Hamburg in northern Germany and for over a thousand years it's been one of Europe's most important trading ports despite being over a hundred kilometers inland. Now the World Heritage Area here is known as the Spiekerstadt and it was a maritime area constructed between the 1880s and the 1930s when Germany was undergoing massive growth and the companies here needed room to expand their shipping operations. Let's check it out. This is the remarkable Chile House and it's one of the most distinctive buildings in all of Hamburg. Now it was constructed in the 1920s by a local shipping magnate and the richest man in Hamburg who had made his fortune trading saltpeter with the country of Chile, hence the name. Now there's almost 5 million bricks that went into the construction and it's designed to look like a ship, which it really, really does very, very much so and it's almost impossible to determine how much money got sunk into this because aside from solving difficult design problems it was also designed during the early 1920s when Germany was suffering from hyperinflation after World War I. Maritime companies require lots and lots of office space and so in the Konterhaus district adjacent to the port many many office buildings were constructed some of them enormous brick buildings like this one the Spinkelhof. I've never really thought of red bricks as a particularly attractive building material, but walking around here, it's just really evocative. You know, the buildings are in fantastic condition and it really gives you a sense of what the working port would have been like with goods from all over the world, the coffee and the tea and spices and all sorts of stuff like that. Now, of course, the shipping still happens here in Hamburg, though the port operations have moved out of the city itself and with large container ships that certainly wouldn't fit under these bridges, let me tell you. But it's great to see that the buildings are all still in use. Uh, there's apartments in there and uh, offices of design and media companies and trendy startups, and for some reason, hundreds and hundreds of carpet retailers as well. It's funny because you don't really think of Hamburg as being a canal city and yet there's more canals and bridges here than there is in Amsterdam and Venice combined. And it's great to see all the buildings and the warehouses being given a new lease on life as well. There's a, quite a few tourists around and yeah, it's just a really nice place to be. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.